Hello, everyone. Um, hey, Randy Bergen. It is Wednesday, January 19th. We're just back after Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. And um, it's kind of a weird day. We have a lot of staff members out. Uh, my aide, Miss Lori, is out. I have nine students out. So, um, and it's a three day week. So it's gonna be kind of a weird week doing different things. Um, so I thought I would make a different type of video this week um, and just video some things that I'm doing in interventions or what I was doing in interventions today. Um, and then I will probably continue tomorrow uh, because I didn't get done with all of the students. And then um, what I was working on, I'm going to continue to kind of test them on or work with them on maybe once a month throughout the rest of the school year. And what it is, is learning how to do whole word reading. Of course, only a few students are ready for that, but I wanted to show you how I kind of nudge students into that. Um, you don't want to push them too much because it can um, obviously kind of wreck their reading if they're not quite ready for it. You don't want to force them to, you know, be sounding words out in their head and then just trying to blurt the word out as a whole word. Um, and yet those who are ready for it, you want to model it and kind of um, let them know that that's how people read, you know, once they're good at saying the sounds and blending. And so um, I want to kind of nudge my students into that gently and um, see if they get better at it as the months go by and if more and more of them can do it. It is not a requirement for end of the year Dibbles testing to word, read words on a whole word basis, um, but they will get a better score if they do. And of course they'll be in uh, much better shape going into first grade if they can look at a word, even if it's a nonsense word and say um, NIV instead of going NIV, NIV. Um, if we keep them in this type of reading where they're saying every single sound and then saying it fast. Um, it gets us hard to read sentences and maintain comprehension. Um, of course, their fluency isn't that great. They don't sound that great. Um, and so we kind of want to trans transition them out of that when they're ready, but not too soon. So that's what I'm trying to show on this video. Oh, and on a personal note, I turned my hair brown. What do you guys think? It was blonde for 25 years. Hi, Bela. All right. Why don't you, let's start right here. Can you read a couple of these words for me? These are nonsense words, so they won't really make sense. They're pretend words, okay? Go ahead. Mm, adj, madj. Good. What's this one? Hawk. Hawk. Good. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you something. Sometimes you can look at a word and you can just go like this. Buzz. Buzz. You can say it fast without saying all the sounds slowly first, okay? So let's just try one. Can you say that fast? Heck. Good. How about this one? Kim. Nice job, okay? Uh oh, a little too much commotion. Shh. No, he did not do that. You did that. Okay, right here, please. Try this one. Sod. Okay, so that's one way to read it. What's another way to read it? Just look at it and say Zod. Zod. Okay, try one more. Ud, lud. Oops, careful on B's and D's. Ub, lub. Okay, thank you very much, dear. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is see if some kids are re ready to be nudged into whole word red. Um, I don't want to push them too much because then they will start to just read it in their heads slowly and spit the words out slowly. And I, of course, if they're going to be doing that, I'd much rather they just do that out loud so I can hear them. So I'm going to make a notation on here. I'll put her name. I probably could have printed a class list. It would have been um, faster. Um, some whole words read, so she's right now just doing sounds to blending. So I'm going to put the date on here, and I'll check her every month or so this spring and see if I can nudge her into that. Okay, so next I'm going to try Adeline. Pretty sure she can do this. 
based on how she reads other things. Hi, Adeline. Hi. All right, sweets, look at these. Can you read a couple of these words for me, please? They are nonsense words, which means they don't really make sense. They're pretend words. Um, pav. Pav. Very nice. Add. Add. Yeah, just a minute. I'm not kidding. What's today? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to figure it out because you know what day it is, and we've already talked about it. You can figure it out. So every time I try to type in my words, um, my code, it doesn't work. Yeah, well, just wait for Mrs. Murray to come, okay? That's our intervention teacher who will be coming in. She helps with all the Chromebooks uh, and lets um, you and stuff like um, that. I can focus on kids. Okay, now stop for a minute. Here's another way to read the words. If you want to, you can try this. You can just look at the sounds and say Zud. Okay? Try this one. Seeds. Oh, I did teach you a long E sound, but we will always use our short E first. Unless you see a silent E on the end. Okay? Good. What's this word? Mog. Beautiful. What's this one? Cat. Uh-huh. Sid. Yeah. Nod. Yes. Hawk. Buzz. Pack. Kim. Okay, that's all. If you want to, look at me. Whenever you can read words like that, just the fast way without the sound, you can do it, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks. So here I will put that she is doing this in January. And I'm sure she won't go backwards, but if I need to, I'll check her again. I'll also call her to practice again too, because from end of the year Dibbles testing, I'll want her to be able to do this a little bit faster. All right, hi June. These are gonna be nonsense words. That means they don't make sense. They're just pretend words, okay? Can you try to read some of these for me? Yeah, don't look at me, just read it. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, sometimes you can just look at the sounds and say them fast, like this. Hum. What do you think that one would be? Good. Try a few more. Be careful on your B's and D's. Good. Good. Okay, that's all, honey. Thank you. So with these B's and D's, always a challenge. But I've mostly been just been telling the kids, be careful on your B's and D's. Think first. Don't be impulsive. That's the language we use in our classroom, and it does work fairly well. Um, I see a lot of kids hesitating and thinking first about the direction of those letters. Now she's really not ready to be nudged into whole word reading. I wouldn't expect her to be. Um, so I'm going to mark here, her here. She is very competent with sounds to blending the word. All right, honey, these are pretend words, they're nonsense words. Can you start reading right here, please? Mm -hmm. Point. Right here. P -m -pem. Good. K -id -k -id -k -k -p Oops, you didn't say that one fast. Cag. You. Cag. That's not what I see. Good. Good Cack. fix up. Cack. Uh, What's a backwards P called? Quab. Good. Okay, now look at this word. Here's another way to read these words. You can just look at them and try to do just the fast part like this. Ziff. Okay? Try this one. One. Okay, try this one. Yeah. Ick, yick. Okay, thank you. That was so good. Bye.
Okay, so she's over here. It is early to be expecting this, but I want to um, just start this chart and try to nudge them into that very easily over these next few months. Okay, hi. I'm going to have you read some of these words to me. These are called nonsense words. Do you remember what those are? Yeah. What? The words that aren't really words. Right, really they don't make sense, right? They're pretend words. Yeah. So if they sound funny, we just say, oh well, they're supposed to. Okay? All right, go ahead. Start at the top here. Pause. Pause. Good. Sad. Sad. In. Thin. Mm -hmm. Um. Hum. Okay, now watch this. Here's another way you can read these. If you want to, you can look at the letters and just go jab. Jab? Yep, and just kind of say it fast, okay? Try this one. Zod. Perfect. Says. Yeah. yeah. Mog. Mm-hmm. Cat. Nice reading. Sid. Okay, stop right there. So that's another way to read those, okay? If you can do it, do it that way because it saves time. It's faster. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, dear. All right. So, she is capable of doing that. I want to make a note of it so I can start to expect it from her uh, with CDC words. Hello. Hello. Start at the top here, please, and see if you can read these. But let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. These are nonsense words. Okay? They don't really make sense. They're pretend words. You can, honey. You just have to knock, okay? Or wait for someone to get out. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Don't look at me, honey. Look at the letters and say them. I'm hearing an N in there. I hear fan. Very nice. Thin. Say it fast. Thin. What? Here we go. Mm -hmm. e. Good job, Billy. Then. Then. Good. Next one. You completed the last um. time. Good nice. Time. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. So with him, he has a few articulation errors all the time, and he wasn't real accurate just even on um, saying the sounds and blending that, so I'm definitely not going to push him into this yet. It's not really in his zone of proximal development. I will keep him here, and I'm just going to put a little note here. I know, I see that. That's awesome. I want him to be more proficient at that before I would even mention reading those whole word. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. On this page, you're going to see some nonsense words. Do you remember nonsense words? They're pretend words. Okay. So they will sound funny. Go ahead and say your sounds and read it to me. Beautiful. Next one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now watch this. Here's another way to read words. You can just look at the sounds and then try to say them quickly like this. Hum. hum. Good. Try that one. Jed. Pretty close. That's a B. Try again. Jem. Jeb. Jeb. Good. Try this one. Zed. Hey, that was great. How about this one? Zed. <gasps> Hi, I got something. Zed. Excellent. Okay, another one. Mug. Mog. Mm, Mog. Mog. Say it. 
Mog. Good. Okay, one more. Cat. Okay. Thank you, dear. You may go. Okay, so I think I'll put her here. She was starting to get the hang of it. And I'm just going to make a notation, which will remind me that she's probably trying to say the sounds in her head before she tries to say the word quickly, which I don't want to encourage if they can't just say it quickly. Um, without all the processing in their mind, then I'd rather keep them over here because they'll be able to actually read a lot faster and I'll be able to hear them and see where they're getting stuck. Okay, we're going to read some nonsense words. Nonsense words are pretend words, right? They don't really make sense. Why don't you start right here, okay? Um, if, if. Good. Next one. Um, what? You. No, 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 no. Yeah. One. Thank you. Don't be impulsive on your sounds. Um, but, uh, You'll need to step back because you're interrupting. Um, I'll talk to you when I'm ready, okay? Honey, I'm not going to be very um, patient with you if you don't say your sounds right. Uh, no, nope. I said say your sounds correctly. Uh, uh, Good. I mean, uh, no. Okay, thank you. Very, that was good. Bye. Okay, with that student, since he's losing accuracy, he's getting a little bit careless. I want to keep him here. And I'm going to make a note. Strive for accuracy. That's our language we use in our classroom, the habit of mind. I'll remind him of that next time, and so he hopefully will think first and just say whatever he wants. Hi, miss. Hi. You're going to read these words. They are nonsense words, which means they don't really make sense. Don't don't worry if they sound funny, okay? okay. Here we go. Pause. Mm -hmm. Sad. Thin. Hum. Jed. Jed. Uh oh. Got to think first on these and these. Jeb. Good. Okay, look at me, honey. I like how with some of these words you're just going pav, fad. You're just saying them fast, right? You can do that. And then you got to a word that had a tricky letter. And I saw you try to say your sounds carefully first and then say it fast. That's a good idea. I like that, okay? Let's try one more row and see what you do. Zud. Good. Says. Says. Good. Mog. Mm-hmm. Cat. Eight. Uh oh, what's that short A sound? Cat. Cat. Yeah, now look at me. That sounds like a real word, doesn't it? Yeah. It's okay if they sometimes turn into a real word. You don't need to change it to Kate, okay? Okay. All right? Sid. Sid. Okay. And one more. Can you read this one fast? Nag. Thank you. That's it. Thanks. So I'm going to mark her here. Obviously, she can do it. And she's doing what we would want most kids to do, in my opinion, is to slow down and say the sound slowly and be careful on something that's giving her a bit of a challenge. So that was just what I'm hoping to see. All right, listen. These are nonsense words. Nonsense means they don't sound very good. They don't make sense, okay? All right, read them your very best. Don't look at me. Look down here. Add fad. Next one. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, come back here and make a v. Mm. Uh, that was better. Hum. Hum. Mm-hmm. 
like a hum hum. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here. Jab. 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 Not jab you like jab you with a pencil, but jab. Say it. Jab. 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 There you go. Okay. Now listen. Here's another way you can read when you're ready. You can just look at it and say it fast like this. Zud. Z you, you try it. Says. Okay. Says. Try one more. Mug. Mug. Good. Okay. So I like what you're doing. You want to say the sounds and then say it fast, and that's okay. That's what I taught you, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, what? Oh, you want to do one more? I want to do these two last. Okay. Go ahead. C at cat. Mm -hmm. That one's kind of a real word. It is a real word. Oh, it's almost real. If it was really cat, what letter would it have right here? A C. Yep. But it sounds like cat. So, yep. Cat. I know. It sounds good, but it looks weird. Ah, I like how you're so careful on your D. I want to do this one last. Okay. C. I mean, no. I want to do stuff like this one. One more. That's it. C. Very nice. Okay, see you later. Bye. Okay, so Ashton, he is very good at sounds to blending. That's where he is for now. Hello. All right, so on this paper we have some nonsense words. Nonsense words are words that don't make sense. They won't sound very good, but go ahead and try to read these for me. Um, pause. Beautiful, next one. Yep. Mm. Ooh, come back here and make a mm. 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 Then. Ah, that was a good fix up. Huh. Um hum. Mm -hmm. J. And J. Mm. What do we have to do with B's and D's? to be really careful, don't we? Mm -hmm. Look at it carefully. Jab. Jab. Excellent. Okay, let me show you something. When you're ready, and it might be in the springtime, it might be tomorrow, I don't know. But when you're ready, you can start to read these words a little bit faster. You just look at them and you go like this. Zud. Try this one. Says. Good. Try one more. Mog. Mog. Okay. Thank you. That is all. You did great. So, usually I can predict how my kids are going to do on this, but sometimes they surprise me. So, I'm just checking on that. Okay, mister. Hello. Really, I mean, all she does is works in his oh. office. Well, honey, work is takes a lot of time and she's busy, right? Yes, just like I'm busy with my work. All right, start here. These are going to be, mm -hmm. listen, these are nonsense words. That means they don't really make sense. They're pretend words. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, J. Nag. Uh, hawk. Hook. It's just like hook. It is not like hook because we're going to leave it like a, a silly word. Hawk. Okay, right here. Uh, How come you're making such a funny you sound? Punch your tummy. What are we supposed to say? Ah, uh, 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 mm-hmm. Say it right. Buzz. Uh, buzz. Okay. I can be buzzing. Yes. Like yes. Like that. Right here, please. P uh, peck. Okay. Now watch me. Here's another way to read words. You can look at them and just try to say it fast, like this. Kim. 
Okay. Kim. Try this one. I know someone named Kim. Can you just look? Yeah. Can you just look at it and say it? Zod. Close, but you didn't do the right O sound. We say ah. Zod. Zod. Mm -hmm. Look at me. I did teach you long O. Z O O O D. But we don't use it, honey, unless we see the silent E or another way to make it long, okay? Here we go. Mm. O -d -z no, not O. Z -od -z -od. Okay, one more. See if you can just say it. Lub. Very nice. Okay, thank you. Club. Oh, sounds like club, yes. Okay, he really couldn't do it yet. So we'll put him here. All right, so you get the hang of what I'm doing. Now, obviously, I could pull out my Chromebook and I could do the official progress monitoring on Dibble's nonsense word reading with these kids, but it would just add a lot of time. There's no way I would have gotten through all of this plus made a, uh, or sorry, gotten through this many kids, plus made some notations. Plus I wouldn't be able to stop and talk to them and instruct them during that one minute progress monitoring. So since they're all green and blue and I don't have to progress monitor officially, I'm going to use this for more of instructional time. That's what I'm doing this week in mid-January during my intervention block.